It is a big week in Paris for one unordinary high school graduate. Oh, state. I was like, what? I believe that's state senators, yes. State? State senators and representatives, the mayor, and hundreds more are saying job well done to Gladys Wright. And storyteller Erin Valley, who wrote that beautiful script for me, <laughs> joins us now with more. Yes, I may never attend another graduation party quite like this one, but I hope I get to. <laughs> this 102-year-old earned her high school diploma in Paris last night. And this is no honorary degree. She truly finished the job, English class and all. Take a look. It might be a cliche saying, overused on class t-shirts and cocktail napkins. But take it from one special graduate of Paris Union School District, and she'll be the first to tell you, the tassel was worth the hassle. An emotional moment for 102-year-old Gladys Wright, who just proved to her community it's never too late to graduate from high school. If you or any of your friends have not finished their, to get their high school diploma, you tell them to get after it because it's well worth it. Gladys was born in August of 1918 during the Spanish flu. She grew up in a three-room farmhouse in Clay County, Indiana, the fifth of 11 children. She was on track to graduate from high school in 1936, but dropped out after falling ill. Now, with the help of her district's adult education program, Superintendent Dr. Jeremy Larson says Gladys and others like her can finish what they started. We take their high school transcript, do an evaluation on it to see which courses are deficit. We help them with the coursework, pair them with an instructor, and help them get their high school diploma. Back in school, Gladys rediscovered a few things about herself, particularly which subjects intrigued her and which ones felt a little dull. Well, I, I kind of enjoyed the math. I, I, that was a, a lot of fun. That I didn't like it. Still, you never grow out of some good old-fashioned school pride. Go Tigers. <laughs> or the sense of accomplishment one feels for making their family proud. I just say, yay, Mom, good job, wonderful. I sure appreciate what you've done. Congratulations, Grandma. We're proud of you. Thanks for being a good example. I love you, Grandma. Letters of congratulations from over 200 people, including the governor, and some well-deserved recognition from the mayor. What is it? It's a cake in the city. <laughs> Where are you going to go with it? <laughs> Any place I want to. <laughs> it's clear there's no stopping Gladys from the places she'll go. I've, I've been thinking I'd apply for a job. <laughs> or the ways she'll inspire others to follow. Amazing. Gladys will reach another big milestone next month when she turns 103. Wow. That is the coolest wow. thing ever. Good for her. I told you, most unique graduation party ever. Oh, but my agreed. goodness. She had a parade. So many people came out in the community. They made signs. They wrote letters. Like, everyone just rallied around her. And it was just so great to see this achievement that was truly a lifetime in the making. And she got a key. So, Tim, you think you'll go back to college when you're 102? Ooh. No, I... <laughs> nope. <laughs> I can tell you for sure. Even if they give me a key to the city and a parade, I am done but with my educational career. Cake, though. Will you There are other things cupcakes? you can do to deserve cake. I don't know. The key to the city might be that's kind a, of worth it. That's she, a pretty big deal. She was right about that. She says she can go where she wants. Depends on which <laughs> city, What What job do you think she was thinking of applying right, for? Right. I know. Cool. I would love to see... She, she loves to cook. She loves to quilt. Oh, okay. So maybe there's something... Maybe she can work in a kitchen. Wow, she had quite the turnout there, too, with family that was probably able to come in. And to meet wow. generations and to, like, ask them, I was like, do you have a shout-out for your great-grandma, <laughs> your grandma, your mom? Did she say in there what uh, inspired her to finish? Like, did she have this moment of, like, I need to do this? She said her entire life, she it was just something that she felt like she had unfinished business with. She just, like, I... 
got to get that degree. I want to go back to school. Mm, good for and her. now that Paris has that program and she was able to do it, she just went for it. I wonder which class she hated the most to finish. It, she said she said it was the English classes oh. that really uh -oh. were tough for her. Did she have to like sit through study hall and stuff? I, I, <laughs> probably. <laughs> and PE and all the electives. Throwing paper airplanes, falling asleep on her desk. I love that she's so good at math. Maybe she can become an engineer. Maybe yeah. that's <laughs> maybe. Oh, that's a great story. Thank okay, you. and happy early birthday. We'll have to remember that for our birthday smile. Yes. Coming up. Coming up here.